have to be slightly anti-unsocial because I have no air pressure, so I've got to sit here for a bit. Plan for today. I can easily, well I say easily, I can get to Calais, but it's a fair old drive. A uh, fair old drive to the point that I'm not quite sure how much time I will have left. So I don't know if I can make the ferry trip today or I'll have to do it in the morning. But it's, yeah, basically get up early and get up to Calais so I can at least guarantee myself a spot in the secure parking. Right, any social time. Go. Should have enough just about to move. Try and get away as quietly as possible. No one coming, unsurprisingly, at this time. And four and a half hours to make as much progress as possible. Just for the next four and a half hours. There you go. Apart from hills and any toll booths, there's nothing really going to slow us down. Sun's up at last, and I think I'm sold now. The Malau Viaduct way is a much better way to go. It was up until about half an hour ago. It's been near constant hills. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Literally non stop. I've gone through nearly a quarter of a tank of diesel in just two hours of driving. And speaking to the guys the other day, they actually came across on the D road, which is this junction here. I saw the sign of St. Tours. So they turned left and then cut across on the D road, which according to them was. Not a particularly fun road to drive on. So of the three options you've got, of getting down to Limoges, that's possibly the worst one. We've got the uh, sign for tours. So that's the way I came down. I came along, turn right, straight down that way. But I'm not going back that way, so I'm not shipping via car, I'm shipping via Calais straight on towards Paris, work our way around Paris, and then uh, up the coast to the boat. What's going on here? A lot of dust. Something's harvesting. recognize any of this that's because you shouldn't I'm going yet another way around Paris just to see what it seems like whether I like it or not so I've turned off of the A10 to the N104 I'm slowly making my way around anti-clockwise around the east of the sea so there's a nice big wide road that runs out round it. And if you don't have enough space, don't try and pull on. Um, and loop all the way around up to the A1, and then we can run straight up towards Lille, and up the A26, as if I was coming from Lyon. And uh, there's a secure truck park on the A26, if I can't make it to Calais in time. So far, so good. Just making the turn to the north. Come out west, and now curving around to the north. About to uh, start working our way around Paris. Here we go. A1. Job done. A smidge under an hour to get around Paris. I think that's probably.
probably the best route by far. I'd like to start seeing signs for Calais so I can work out if I'm more than 180 kilometers away from it or not. Because if I am, I'm gonna need to stop. So I've got a parking just for trucks here. I've just gone past a sign. Stop, truck, stop. Gone past a sign, this is Calais 257, which is about two and a half hours drive. Pull up in the truck driver's bit, and then uh, have another break, although a car just drove behind me, so. So number 45, reset the drive time, how much have I got left? I've got three hours of driving left. 3006. What do I need to do? Wait for some paperwork to come through. Because I ain't got that yet either. Was it GMR? GMR I'm waiting for still. Oh yeah. Is it too early for lunch yet? I mean it's 12 o'clock, so. Might as well have some. Uh, scratch that. I got sent everything about an hour ago. Uh, without even realising it. So loads booked in tomorrow, two o'clock in the afternoon. Delivery reference, there's the GMR, there's the MRN. All the custom work, pay, uh, custom paperwork gets sorted electronically. And everything is good to go. Driving into port, straight on the boat, as if nothing changed. So it can be done quickly and efficiently and all online. Almost like you wouldn't notice any difference apart from that I have to show uh, two extra bits of paper on my phone that you never used to, but apart from that, it's exactly the same as it was. On the home stretch, nearly at Calais, and as the clock winds down and the signs wind down, it's looking a bit tight. I'd like them really to be about half hour left on the clock when I arrive in Calais and it's looking like it's closer to 15 which isn't really enough to play it safe with getting through all the port onto the boat off the other side and into Mobis. Coming up on Calais, there it is on the horizon, 17 minutes of drive time remaining and I've unintentionally set a new distance record, a personal distance record. I think my last one was 512, was it? And I'm already approaching 517. Nearly at the turning for the parking, it's over there somewhere. I think that's it. I can see a lot of stuff over there. So the closest parking, I believe, is going to be the one on the right. Suspicious looking guys, there's one over there, another two. Looking right dodgy, don't stop for anyone. Poly parking, there's another dodgy looking geezer. Snap, yes. bit narrow if you don't approach it right, is it? <laughs> Isn't it? Kind of running out of options. So. This one's a bit busier than the old Calais truck park, that's for sure. A gap on the end there by the curtain sign as we'll go there. So what's that? 520 miles, eight minutes of driving remaining. Cool. Got a space, it should be secure. I shouldn't be able to get anyone on board. Have a fairly chill afternoon. I don't really need to get going until probably 
6 o'clock UK time, which will be 7 o'clock here. It's only quarter to four here right now. It's a nice, easy day tomorrow. Lovely. Go and have a walk around, see, what, uh, see what's on site, I think. It's a pretty big place. Cool, so there's a tiny little building right in the corner. So I suspect that's where everything is. I'll go over, have a wonder, and uh, see what there is to see. Apart from that, I will see you in the morning. Morning. So I twigged last night that if I only had the nine hours, I could have started at midnight. But had I had nothing else to do today, other than just drive straight back to the depot and then have the rest of the day off. I probably would have done it <laughs> just to try and beat the other guys back. You know, got to put these young whippersnappers in their place, you know. They start getting ideas otherwise and got to show them what for. <laughs> got to show them what for. Unfortunately, I do have a job, so I can't do that. Got to deliver to Northampton, two o'clock this afternoon. I'm somewhat surprised this girl on the right is still there because he was there before me. Yeah, because of that red van and the man free. I think it'll be better to go the longer way around. Let me out. Hooray! Right. Run the gauntlet. Let's see if there's any guys here this morning. Is that someone up there? Might be someone up there walking around. Don't stop. That's when they get you. Right. Which ones are open? None. Two booths. Okay. M A. Is that Malta? Maltese truck. Uh, it's a frigo. It's what, sorry? It's a frigo. Uh, no, box. Okay, you have the choice. Uh, uh, P&O. Yep, all good? Bye. Thanks, see ya. Customs paperwork, but I have no such paperwork today. One thousand and eighteen minutes. Yes. Two S and Ks over there. Passed one yesterday as well. Oh, one in the opposite direction. over I'm afraid on this side Bonjour Merci, au revoir
third lane, okay, cool. It's in like sardines today. It must be busy. To get out of here, I'm a green light, so no custom stuff to do. Straight out on the road, away we go. Cool. Exit sorti is very busy with cars. Lots of holiday makers trying to get away. There's one of the SKs. Who's this? Phoenix Bussing. Event touring. Sleeper coaches. It's what all the big pop stars use when they gig. And the bus transfers them from uh, venue to venue. No one coming up the ramp. Cool. Big spiral onto the A2 and then start the very long process of climbing up that whacking great big hill. It's going to burn a lot of fuel. its usual self. My fuel needle is descending down to the very bottom at an incredibly scary rate. So I might even have to uh, duck out and get some fuel at some point because I don't know if I'm going to make it on what I've got. Uh, I'm already a third of the way into the red. Turn my lights on, ready for going into the tunnel. Unexpected bit of traffic on this whole route, so after that, it's just whether someone's had an accident or not. The traffic's been a bit weird today. Well, that's all you don't want to see. M1 junction 8 to 9, 30 minute delay. A couple of lanes are closed due to an accident. As is always the way in the UK. Somewhere here then. And it just got on the M1. And immediately signs are appearing. Send this next thing. Congestion after junction. I 
finished tidying it up, it's all suddenly started moving now. Which is good, because it means I'm still going to be late, just nowhere near as late as I was going to originally be if it was staying that slow. I'm going to have to chicken out. Now a few needles dropping faster than I would like. And it's getting towards the bottom of the red now. So since I'm already going to be late, of it. Let's get some fuel now. So I don't have to worry about running out later. Is there one free for me? There is. Cool. or bump number nine. Almost did 2,000 kilometers on that fuel. Okay, not too bad then. Ooh, one pound 13 a litre. I'll take an entire tank's worth, thank you very much. Here we are at last. Hooray. About three quarters of an hour late. All of which can be explained and more by all the delays I've had. The ferry was supposed to be 9.50. It didn't leave the dock until 10.30 almost. Then we arrived in Dover. That was another 10-20 minutes just to get off the boat. 20 minute delay at the Dartford Tunnel, but there's always a delay there of some sort, so not really a surprise. And in the 30 minutes thereabouts. Uh, well, in fact, it was a little bit less than that because they started moving after not too long. But yeah, that's easily 45 minutes could be made up there. Trucks there, okay, it's car park. Swan Valley 1, straight ahead. Oh, it's Swan Valley 2, no? Yes. The dry drivers on the road. Let's see what they say. Oh, you're late. Well, actually, original estimation was Friday morning, so if anything, I'm over half a day early. Uh, hi there, I've got a delivery of wine from southern France. Uh, 136 722 12. Well, the gate's open, but he didn't say obey. So. To go somewhere else, though. One way. Our way or the highway? Staff entrance, reception. And I can tell we're back in the UK. High visibility vests must be worn. No one else cares anywhere else. So, what do I do? Park up behind this lawn. For curtain siders, I'm not a curtain cider. Goods in office. Oh, we foot that way. Okay, Let's see what they say. Get off the pedestrian. Road a bit water. Because you know what health and safety is like in the UK. No parking on the footpaths. <laughs> Take me back to Europe. Go to Bay 14, away from to cut the seal off. Well, I don't have one, I have the lock, but no seal. 
Oh, good old RDCs. At least they let us sit in our truck whilst they unload, which is nice. Uh, so I'm going to assume that one's 14, even though it doesn't have a number. Somebody should come out and check the seal and then back onto the bay. They can witness me remove the lock, that's about all they can do. I'll raise the suspension up at the front. Looks it's going to have to go up quite a bit at the back. UK height loading bay. I've only got a, a low deck trailer. That will do there for now. Let's see what happens. There we go. After two and a half hours. Pretty sure on the last one here because I did walk around after an hour and a half just to ask what was going on. And they said, Oh, they're starting to unload you now. Okay. And every truck around that side had pretty much finished and was ready to go on. I reckon I was bumped right to the back of the queue and the last truck to be done. Such is the way with a British RDC to do now. Go all the way around the block, pick me paperwork up, check that I've got a signature. And I'm good to go back to the depot I think. And call that a week. There we go, that pile of paperwork that's gonna get dropped off in the tray later on. Get the aircon going, get the high vis off. Turn those off. Hooray! Try the other gate, and it worked. We can finally get going, cool. Hey, hey, hey. Northampton, Oxford A43, yes, please. There we go, trip to Barcelona with a return load. Much better success this time round. Didn't get robbed, didn't get my curtain slashed, and didn't get any other problems. Hooray! Apart from the typical UK traffic messing stuff up. Oh, look how much easier the truck pulls away, so nice. There's not much left for me to do now, just got to go back, clean the truck out, give it a wash, and uh, that's me done for at least a couple of days I think. And I didn't say at the beginning, so I'll say it now, this potentially is the very last video that you will see from the inside of this truck. There's our two new ones have just arrived, and apparently I look after this one well enough to deserve a new one, even though, compared to some people, I think they keep their trucks much better cleaned than I do, uh, but apparently they have been offered and they've all said no, so I'm the next in line to get this new truck, and somebody else will be getting my one. But that is it for this trip. That's down to Spain, Barcelona, once again. One day it won't be searingly hot and I'll be down there long enough that I can actually go around town and have a look. But that is it for today. That is it for this episode. I'll find out what's happening with this other truck once I get back. So if I'm swapping over or whatnot. By the time I've edited this eight months ago, or eight months from now, you would have already found out if you're following on Instagram or Facebook, because I would have posted it on there by this point. 
long time ago. But who knows what or when and where I'll go on the next foreign jolly and how long it will last for. Uh, but until next time, see you then.